Hi everyone, it's Patricia from TarantulaHeaven.com. We have Spidey, my grandma stole the rosea, who is actually being kind of active right now and creepy crawling around her tank. So I hope you enjoy watching her while I am talking. Uh, today we're gonna to talk about what would happen if spiders didn't exist. I think this is really, really important because you guys know that I am all about advocacy for tarantulas and spiders and the respect of these creatures and all creatures. But I do think that this is really especially important for those creatures in our society that are just kind of really looked on as lesser than or like evil, which I think is unfortunately a really unfair category that spiders have been put into. But, you know, because of the media, because of uh, generational phobias that have been passed down, um, I do think that it is important to remind people that Spiders have a really important part in our ecosystem and in our world, and nothing would be the same if they didn't exist. Actually, things would be pretty bad. So I wanna talk about that. Um, first of all, and I kinda of said this, we do need them. It's really sad because of the way that our world is developing and perhaps due to human intervention, we're losing a lot of species, and a lot of that is really negative. One article that I did uh, research was talking actually about um, hobbyists that collect too many spiders. And I don't know what their measure for that is, but it was mentioned in one article in terms of like what hurts spider existence that um, certain species are being collected to the point where like they may possibly be going extinct. These species are not being replenished enough. I am not sure how much I really agree with that, but I think it is uh, fair to just bring it up because some of these are being taken out of their, some of these tarantulas are being taken out of their environments, their habitats, their countries and being imported, uh, whether it's done illegally or legally. And um, I don't think there's enough respect given to what the actual longstanding consequences of those are. And I do think that in the tarantula hobby, it's really normal to see people just kind of like buying tarantulas um, like crazy. And I totally get it. I totally get why um, the tarantula hobby has grown so much and why people enjoy having large collections. These creatures are like so awesome. But um, I think that we would be naive to say that there isn't some sort of negative impact on taking these wild creatures out of their environment, especially when we're doing it like in mass. However, that's not the biggest threat to tarantulas or spiders, honestly. Habitat fragmentation and loss are actually the most pressing. I think a good way to think about um, what could happen if spiders did not exist or if tarantulas did not exist is to think about what's kind of happened with the honeybee. Um, bees are not necessarily an incredibly loved uh, bug. There are bugs which are generally disliked in our culture. But everything in our world is part of like a delicate ecosystem. Most of the parts are connected and even removing one creature or could actually ripple out into many others. So with the honeybee, for example, as they became threatened, we can't forget that about a third of our food comes from the pollination that is done by honeybees. So in terms of spiders, what do spiders do for us? So. In my research, I found some very interesting information that one of the main contributions to our world are the fact that spiders and tarantulas or any arachnid, honestly, uh, is bug control, natural bug control for us. Uh, in the research, I found multiple websites state that one spider eats 2000 insects a year. And I don't know how they studied that but I, I found that on more than one website, so I'm kind of thinking that it should be true. Um, and these are insects who would otherwise like be eating our crops or spreading disease. As you guys know, mosquitoes or other flying insects have been carriers of many diseases that have been dangerous to humans and spiders uh, take that on. Another thing is that without spiders, because the bug population would get more out of control, that means more pesticides going into the food supply. And considering all the um, 
concerns about humans, human health um, we're putting into our bodies now. I think that that's incredibly important. Based on a new study, um, it is estimated that annually all the world's spiders eat between 408 million tons of insects, springtails, and other invertebrates. That's incredibly impressive considering that these bugs weigh absolutely nothing. <laughs> so how do you measure that a spider, the spiders of the world, eat 400 million tons of these insects? That is absolutely crazy. But, you know, if, you, if they're estimating that one spider annually eats up to 2,000 insects, that's really impressive as well. So not only are tarantulas and spiders really, really useful for reducing our use of pesticides, keeping the insect population in control. It's also really important in forests and grasslands areas. Norman Platnick, and I found a quote from him, um, he studies arachnids at New York, New York's American Museum of Natural History. This is what he said. If spiders disappeared, we would face famine. I think that's incredibly important. He said spiders are primary, spiders are primary controllers of insects. Without spiders, all of our crops would be consumed by those pests. So, again, validating just how valuable spiders are in terms of protecting our food supply. And also, um, just in terms of like comfort, making sure that insects are not just ruining our summers <laughs> with mosquitoes and disease and all these things. Uh, spiders are partially the reason why you can go outside and you are not just like immediately preyed upon Spiders are a huge reason why the insect population has not gotten so out of control. Uh, Norman Platnick actually talked about humans meddling in the habitats of spiders, and I'm going to share it because it's very important, I think. Um, Platnick compares our destruction of the habitat, which spiders call home, to tinkering with a plane's engine while in flight. Given all that we have yet to learn about them, it could prove to be even riskier. Bottom line, whether you love them or hate them, Spiders need us to protect them just as much as we need them to take care of us. Like many things in our world and our ecosystem, this is circular, um, this is reciprocal relationship. Um, I also think it's really important to mention that while spiders not existing would make absolute hell on earth for us in terms of the insect population getting out of control, there are other species on our planet that would be incredibly affected by spiders not existing. So spiders are a really important food source for a lot of different animals. For example, lizards, birds, and these are also animals that help keep our insect population in check. Um, another thing that I think is really important is just the medical use of spiders. I think the ecosystem discussion is probably the most important as we talk more about climate change and the kind of threats that our, our current world is under. However, I do think that it's important to talk um, just in terms of like human interventions that spiders are helping us with. I've made a few other videos about this, but there are certain things that tarantulas and spiders' bodies are actually helping us with. So for example, spider silk, because it's an incredibly strong material, is being used in all sorts of different ways in technology and in our textiles. They are currently using it to, I think I saw some article in terms of like bulletproof vests. Spider venom and the study of it, we are now using tarantula venom to teach us about how to make treatments for chronic pain and many other things. For example, cancer, Alzheimer's. Tarantulas, venom, and their properties are being used for medications. They are being used um, for all sorts of things that are helpful just to us humans. And so regardless of what your major concern is, whether it's the health of humans, whether it's our food supply, whether it's the thriving of other species, whether it's insect control and disease control, it doesn't matter which way you look at this, spiders are valuable. And so I think that this is an important discussion because I think that if we think about the widespread fear of spiders and tarantulas, um, I think that the cost of them not being here far outweighs the fears or phobias that are being perpetuated about them. And so I think that it's really important to continue spreading 
just how critical they are to the way our world works and the future of this planet. And um, I think we all have to remember that we are connected and I think the future <laughs> depends on us being able to recognize that, that humans are by far not the only species that matters. And while we may have the intellectual intelligence that may be superior to some most animals, um, I would argue that they have this instinctive knowledge that we have become disconnected from. And we are incredibly um, indebted to a lot of creatures, spiders included, to keeping our current world a comfortable place, even as we have made some very poor decisions in caring for it. So anyway, guys, uh, please let me know what you think about this. Please share it with anybody that you think could use it in your life. You know, maybe you have um, a friend who kills every spider in their home, or um, a parent or a family member who is absolutely terrified of spiders and you think that this information might actually help them think about spiders a little bit differently. All right, thank you guys for listening and I will see you next week for Tarantula Tuesday. Take care, bye-bye.